Hello, I'm Carola Schönlieb. I'm an applied mathematician here at the Faculty of Mathematics in Cambridge. I work on developing mathematical techniques to analyze and process images coming from various different contexts, from starting from medical imaging and healthcare, uh, looking at CT, MRI scans, to collaborating with forest ecologists on questions about forest health. They ask questions such as they want to identify trees uh, from images from data that they acquire from the airplane, um, are interested in properties of these trees, such as crown width or tree height, to get an idea of what the forest consists of. Uh, so I work on both developing those techniques, making sure that they are actually, you know, consistent, that the solutions that they give make sense, um, till uh, actually uh, carrying them all the way through to making them work in an application of interest. What do you like most about doing mathematics? There are different things. Um, but one of the things that I really like is if you have thought about and studied a very complex question, a problem, and you come you know, slowly to the point that you actually understand it and that you might even be able to come up with a solution. So this is something I really love. What I also love um, is if, you know, in various different situations when you read a research article or when you discuss with a colleague um, or when you listen to a talk uh, at a conference and you get all of, you know, all of a sudden you get this idea of maybe a cool problem that you should be looking at or maybe a solution to a problem that was already always in the back of your head. And uh, this is something I really, really like. Um, so one very good example for that um, happened three years ago when a colleague of mine from the University of Quito in Ecuador came to visit us here in Cambridge to give a seminar, a talk in a seminar. And he works in a very different uh, field than I do. Um, I went to his talk just to see what he's doing and um, I sat there and I thought, wow, this is really, this is really cool stuff. And uh, I thought more and, and we went for a coffee afterwards, we discussed it and I went away and on the next day I thought, wow, actually, you know, what he's doing could actually help me in a problem that, that worried me already for actually since the start of my career, kind of. This is a, one of the big issues uh, in image analysis. And uh, I wrote down uh, what I thought on a piece of paper, uh, formalizing uh, the idea that I had, sent it to him, and since then we are collaborating and uh, we have written many research uh, articles about that. Um, and I think we will continue for a much longer time. So collaboration is a very is something that you really enjoy. I enjoyed it very 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 much, and I think also modern mathematics nowadays needs to go more and more in this direction. Um, you know, this image that we have from the mathematician sitting in his office, um, working all alone in front of a blackboard or just at the desk, um, is in the past. I think to go towards developing mathematics that actually helps, you know, very pressing problems nowadays, I mean, we hear about big data all the time, needs very different uh, tools for mathematics to be combined and for that we need to discuss with each other, yeah. Can you tell us about one of your favorite mathematical moments? That's quite a hard one. Uh, there are various ones, I think, uh, in different categories. So there is this, um, you know, this moment that I started out with, uh, having an idea, having this moment of having understood something, um, till putting this idea into a mathematical formalism, uh, checking that it still makes sense once, once you've written it down, um, and then actually checking in the end that the problem that you originally wanted to solve can be solved via this approach, via this idea. So that is really the, you know, the, and this, these are, there are exciting moments all the way through on, in, this, in this pipeline. And then, you know, it's even greater, it's even better if the problem that um, you have solved, if this is a pressing one in different contexts, 
if people in the real world who, are who, are, who have this problem, if they're using this to solve their own question. For instance, um, you know, in the forest ecology context, if they used it to identify trees, to analyze them, if um, in cancer treatment, for instance, if they can use image analysis tools to make cancer treatment more targeted towards patients, towards individual patients, that's wonderful. And then there is, of course, also within the academic world, the great thing when you have, when you can transfer what you have learned, what you have developed to the next generation, to the students, to your PhD students, when you discuss with them, when you, when you give them um, material to read. And they take all of this to a completely new level and make that even cooler. Yeah. In general, how important do you think it is to be creative in maths? It's crucial. <laughs> um, so I, I would think uh, that uh, you can very easily compare this with a painter. A painter needs a toolbox of brushes and colors and things like this and takes them and makes a completely new thing out of it, a new painting. For a mathematician, these tools are you know, mathematical concepts that you have studied, um, theorems, definitions, and um, you put them all together to actually solve a new problem that you are asking yourself, that you, yeah. And um, so it is it's a, it's a highly creative process, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite important to give yourself, you know, the space and the time to actually explore ideas, to not be afraid to use this toolbox to actually put things together, maybe in sometimes crazy ways and they don't lead anywhere. But that's also an insight and might lead you to a new idea. And uh, so this playing around with your tools and making new things out of it is, I think, a very highly creative process.